I hope you're really well today. Um, I'm feeling a little bit jaded after a wonderful weekend at the Good Life Experience, which is a festival up in Flintshire, sort of celebrating the great outdoors and music and food. It was brilliant, we had loads of fun. Now, way back in June, I shared a video about how amazing Marie Kondo's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying is. I went through and organised all our clothes according to the Marie method, as it's known. It's been brilliantly really pleased with that way of organising our clothing. And then I'm not sure what happened and I sort of ground to a halt so I didn't get round to tackling all the other categories. Rather than tackling room by room, this book recommends that you tackle things in categories so you can tackle clothing, books, photograph. So I thought it was about time I got started again. One thing that drives me completely bananas is our toiletries and our bathroom cabinets and the fact that I can't open a cupboard without stuff falling out. I can never find anything. Because you never find anything, you end up buying a new one and then you've got even more stuff. I literally found six bottles of the same hand wash, but because they were all over the house in different places, we sort of didn't realize we had them. Ben does have a tendency to stockpile. He loves a three for two offer. So the first thing you do, according to the KonMari method, is group everything together in one place so you can see what you're dealing with. And my word was I horrified when I saw how much stuff we had. So much stuff, I just felt quite ashamed to be honest. It felt so wasteful that we had managed to gather all of this stuff and we didn't use half of it. Once you've got it all together and you're totally in shock about how much stuff you have, then you can start sorting through it. Now, the criteria for deciding what to keep and what to chuck is, and this is a bit of a weird one, does this spark joy? Now, I think this is probably a bit of an easier question to ask when it comes to clothes. You're supposed to sort of hold each item individually and think about whether it sparks joy, basically. So is it something that you love wearing? Do you feel great when you're wearing it? It's slightly different with toiletries because obviously sometimes you're dealing with a bottle of surgical spirit or a packet of plasters. There are shampoos that I absolutely love. There are ones that I've bought that made my hair feel rubbish. The first thing that I could do was just to look at everything and look at the expiry date on the medicines, on various cosmetics. Even doing that got rid of loads. I went through each thing, does this spark joy, deciding what to keep, and I got rid of two thirds of our stuff. So then I could think about how I was going to sort it when it went back into the cupboards. I went around the house and I gathered together any old boxes because they don't have to be beautiful boxes, they're going to be in a cabinet anyway. I emptied all of the plasters from those stupid little cardboard boxes, of which we had five or something ridiculous, just emptied them all out into one pot. First aid stuff went in the same place. The kids' medicines also went into the bathroom cabinet, but obviously a much higher cabinet that they can't reach. Makeup, for example. So I split those into categories, found a little box for each, and they've gone into my wardrobe. With my nail varnishes, I just kept the ones that I really loved, popped them into a plastic storage box, popped in there my nail varnish remover, my nail scissors, my nail, nail files, so that it's all together in one place, pop that into my wardrobe so when I need to do my nails, all I need to do is take this one box out. My hair grips, Kirby grips, are to be found on pretty much every surface in our house. Now a friend showed me a brilliant hack for this, which is to keep them in a little tic-tac box. You can pop them in there and then it's really easy just to empty out one or two when you need them. For things like the hand wash, which we definitely have a habit of amassing, I have put all of that in a cupboard downstairs. It's in one place, we can open that cupboard, look at how many bottles are there and you know whether you need to buy any new bottles when you go to the supermarket. So now I know where everything is, the cabinet is organised, there's actually empty shelves which is incredible. I'm feeling that sort of hibernating thing that you get as autumn approaches and I want the house to be sorted before we sort of hunker down for the winter. So I hope you found this useful, you've picked up a few tips. I really, really do recommend Marie Kondo's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying. Parts of it are a bit bonkers, but there's some really great practical stuff in there and I firmly believe that it is the key to me getting on top of our clutter. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love you to subscribe to my channel, Heather at Home. Any comments, I'll answer them, leave them below, and I will see you back here with another video next week. Bye!